Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by Jordan. In today's video, we are going to review the latest Spark OS. Yes, the Spark OS official and I'm reviewing the latest G apps version. Well, um, to begin with, if you want to flash the ROM and boot it into your device, I'm using Poco M3 Citrus. Well, in case of Citrus, I would recommend you to flash the full EEA ROM. I mean the latest EEA ROM and do wipe and format data then flash rom uh, flash the kernel of your choice and if you wish to flash magisk you can flash magisk that way you can boot the rom well the other way i don't know i just had some errors so i would recommend this option um so try it um try it as your uh, as your wish i don't uh, i don't know maybe if you want to boot the rom that would be the best option to begin with let's go to the system information and as you can see it is the android version 12 it is on the latest uh, security patch the uh, spark os it's official and the kernel that is being used in this particular rom i mean not in i've changed the kernel so basically and i have used 4.19.227 fury i find it a bit more stable that's why i'm using that kernel so let's take a look at the quick settings well as you can see the rom is very smooth look scrolling without any issues so basically as you can see we can customize the quick settings clock which is really great isn't it <laughs> so basically that you can um, do now the rom is jabs version you get some apps with it like gmail google maps photos well useful stuff and for the camera they have the uh, proton usb camera so that is about the um, G app side and ROM side. Well, the launcher that is being used with this particular um, ROM is the launcher launcher. So you can expect some customization from the launcher part too. So let's begin our review from the settings page. As you can see, the settings page is redesigned or it has a new user interface. How good is that? Well, it has the card layout. I do really love the settings page honestly speaking i do really love it and overall the rom is smooth here. as you can see the app launching and stuff like that well here you are launching the apps it is pretty much smooth so that's really wonderful so let's go to the settings page and show you what the rom offers us well firefox is a customization app for the rom and once you click on themes you can see that you will get the monetization customization if you want to use custom colors onto your rom user interface you, definitely you can do that enable the custom um custom colors then extra themes you will get some option to customize the icon pack icon shapes and the headline or default font if you want to use custom font of your own choice you can do that i i don't know how to configure that maybe um just uh, take your favorite font in file ttf and select the file and apply it maybe something like that uh, i have not yet applied it so i don't know you'll get some lock screen clock style to s20 os and uh, yes yeah, spark circle spark and stuff like that then settings dash dashboard icon well if you don't like to see the card layout but you if you wish to see the um see the aosp or the default uh, default style or the stock user interface style make sure you go for aosp so it will change the user interface from the card stuff to the aosp style so that is about that and enable wallpaper zoom well qs clock picker well you can change the clock styles from here as you wish you have couple of options that are available then notification headers um, well the basics basic stuff where you want to show the brightness uh, bar and stuff like that so the basic stuff is under the themes option then comes the lock screen pretty much the basic um, lock screen charging info charging animation and uh, stuff like that and then coming to the status bar you get option to customize the wall light icon and wo wi-fi icon then coming down if you want the colored status bar icon definitely you can enable that combined uh, signal icons data disabled icon then battery styles you get some battery styles and uh, network traffic traffic indicator just you can customize the font size and stuff like that no other styles are available now then padding so if you want to increase or reduce the padding definitely you can do that from here 
for the status bar then gestures just the basic stuff tap to wake tap to sleep and uh, stuff like that then miscellaneous well in miscellaneous the uh, the one option that i really loved was the art block option well i did a review on adobe if you are interested to watch the adobe review i will post the link in the description below and you can watch the adobe um, review that's an application um, it needs root permission to block the advertisements from applications so uh, vibrate on connect vibrate on call waiting then kill up button so the basic stuffs are available over here well what is interesting is the game space and art block in miscellaneous that is really useful for any user then comes the power menu just the basic stuff well overall the rom is pretty much smooth and i do not know anything about the battery backup and stuff like that honestly speaking just um, flashed it and i just started to use it now so i cannot really make any judgment on the battery uh, backup and stuff like that well um, regarding the rom smoothness as i've already told you the rom is pretty much smooth and it is stable to many things for the maintainer of this rom for our use devices for optimizing his trees and making it wonderful so that we all can have a smoother experience of android 12 um so that is about my 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 initial views about the rom so what are my opinion or what is my verdict if you want to have a rom with customization if you want to have a rom with um, smoothness definitely you can try spark os and definitely there are also um, many customization options available with the spark in terms of uh, user interface modification and you can pick some custom lock screen clocks um, quick settings clocks and uh, stuff like that you will really enjoy the rom so um that is my 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 opinion to you if you want to use a nice rom with a smooth experience and if you want to have a stable rom definitely you can try spark OS. that doesn't mean that all other roms are not stable and are not good enough but uh, honestly speaking all roms are good enough all roms are great um maintainers and developers they put a lot of hard work a lot of effort into bringing up uh, roms for each and every device so basically uh, if you want to try a rom uh, with customization and smooth experience you can try spark OS. nothing wrong with it many thanks for watching the review and please make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you